Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about another DML statement called Absurd Operation. As you can see, this name is a combination of Insert and Update. They have taken two letters from the Update and then the rest of them is from Insert, the last four from the Insert. So as the name indicates, in this Absurd Operation, you can either create a new record or update the existing record in one transaction. So let's say you wanted to create a new record and you wanted to go ahead and uh, update an existing record, but you do not want to write two DML statements and you just wanted to do in one. So that's when we are going to go ahead and use an absurd operation. So in the absurd operation, you can create a new record and update the existing record in one transaction. So let's take an example of our chemical supplier application. So let's say we have an existing record whose ID is 1234 and we wanted to update that existing record. And also we wanted to add 10 more customer records and that all these things we wanted to do in one transaction, means in one DML statement. We do not want to write two DML statements or we don't want to create two separate lists, one for insert and one for the update. We don't want to do it. We just wanted to do it in one transaction. How we are going to do it? We are going to go ahead and see this in this particular tutorial. So first thing is, let's say I have a record here. I'm going to go ahead and create a record of the customer record here. And I will name it as customer name is, let's say, Tipica. And uh, the customer status is, let's say, paid. And external ID is 1234. This is the external ID. Okay. So external ID is 1234. And the customer description is empty and it is unchecked. So go ahead and hit the save button. So I have created this customer record. So now I have two customer records. One is Deepika and the other one is test ABC. So now what, what I wanted to do, what my business requirement is, the business requirement is this. We're going to go ahead and update the existing record. Let's say we wanted to update the description of the record that we just created. And we also wanted to add 10 more customer records. And we wanted to do it in one transaction. So now what, how are we going to do it? So we're going to go back to our developer console here. Go ahead and start with an empty slate. So the first thing what we're going to do is we were going to go ahead and fetch the record that we want to update. So which record we want to do update? We want to update the record whose ID is 1234. External ID is 1234. What you want to do update? I want to update the description. I want to update the description of the record whose external ID is 1234. Then what is the next step I wanted to do? I wanted to also create 10 more customer records. So let's start with the first thing. We need to fetch the record whose ID is external ID is 1234. So I'm going to go ahead and use the select query and I'm going to say select the ID and the external ID field and the description Whose external ID is 1234. So I'm going to go ahead. So this is my select query. So what is my select query doing? It is fetching the ID, the external ID, the description from the customer table where the external ID is 1234. So I'm fetching all this information. And whatever the record I'm going to go ahead and retrieve, I'm going to put it into the. I'm going to go ahead. Since there is only one record, that I'm going to be that's going to get returned from this query. I'm going to go ahead and store that record into the customer object. So we're going to go ahead and say apex customer dash dash c, and this is the customer. So this is the variable that will have that particular record whose ID is one two three four. Now what is the next thing I wanted to do? I wanted to go ahead and update the description of this particular object. So I wanted to go ahead and update the description of this particular record. So I'm going to say 
let's say the description was empty so I'm going to say hello how are you so this is the description I wanted to update so this is the record that I wanted to update so let's go ahead and create a list of which will have which will store all the customer records either we wanted to update them or insert them we're just going to add those records in that one list so we will create a list which will store the customer records that we need to either update or insert or do both so this is I'm going to go ahead and create a list here and the name of my list is customer list so I'm going to go ahead and create this particular list here so I've created a customer list then I'm doing a select query to give me the record whose ID is 1234 and store in this particular object and then I'm updating the description of that particular record to hello how are you now what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and add that record that I want to update in this list so I'm going to go ahead and use this update add method and I'm going to add my customer record into this list. Then what we need to do, then I need to go ahead and also create new records. So I have to create 10 more records. I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use this for loop to create 10 records. So let's say run this loop 10 times and new of. So what will be the name? So this is the value. The name of the customer is going to be, let's say, test. And then whatever the IE is. So if the IE is 1, it will create test 0, test 1, test 2, test 3, test 4, up till 10. And then I'm going to go ahead and provide the, so the name I've provided and let's say the external ID is also I'm going to go ahead and provide. And I'm going to say that is also going to be equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're going to add the I here. So for the first one it will be the name would be test one and the id would id would be one two three four one the second customer it's going to create will be test two the id would be one two three four two so this is how it's going to go ahead and do and then this particular all these records i'm going to go ahead and add into this particular list so i'm going to go ahead and add each of those record to this particular list so these are the records that I'm going to go ahead and create and this is the record that I wanted to go ahead and update. So both of these things we are adding in only one list this, which is this customer list and then I'm what I'm saying at the end I'm going to go ahead and say absurd this particular customer list. So this customer list contains the records which are not there and this is also updating a particular record. So this list has combination of records which either needs to be created or either needs to be updated. Okay. So this is how the absurd operation is used. So when you have, let's say, a requirement where you want to create a record and you also wanted to up, uh, update an existing record, then you're going to go ahead and use absurd query, which is the best way to do instead of writing two different operations, insert and update. So let's go and go through this example one more time. So first thing what we're doing is we have created an empty list of customers. And then the second thing is I'm going to, I'm looking for an ob, uh, I'm looking for a record whose external ID is 1234. So this is the query that is going to go ahead and fetch me the record whose external ID is 1234. We have already created that record and I'm storing that particular record in this variable. Next thing is I'm updating the description of that particular record to this value. So I'm going to update the description. And then this particular record that I need to update, I have added into this customer list. Then I'm creating, then I'm running a for loop and the for loop is from 1 to 10, means it's going to run 10 times. And for each of the loop iteration, uh, what I'm doing is I am creating a new customer object. And the name of the customer object is test plus i. Plus i means what is the value of i for the first time? 1. The next time it will be 2. The third time it will be 3. So the name of the customer will be test 1, test 2, test 3, test 4, etc. And the external ID is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 is that constant and then we are adding plus i plus i means one two since it's a string so it will be one two three four one then so the second customer the external id would be one two three four two etc so it will keep going and then what it's going to do it is going to go ahead and add each of those customers into this customer list and then once you've added everything then we are doing this absurd operation and we are passing this whole customer list to this particular absurd operation Let's go ahead and see what's going to be the output of the program.
But before that, let me show you right now what we have. So right now we only have customers, two customers are there, Dipika and Test ABC. If you go to the Dipika customer, the external ID is 1234, but the description is empty and we only have two records, customer records. If you want to, even if you refresh, it's only two records are there. So let's go ahead and execute this particular code. So we're going to go ahead and hit the execute button. This small change here, the, the field name is Apex description, customer description, not the Apex description. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it here as well. You know how to fetch that. It's the API name for that field. So go ahead and execute it here. Okay. So now what's going to be, this is, this is going to get executed. And let's go back to our records and see what happens. So now if you go ahead and refresh this, you will see it has created these 10 records, test 1, test 2, test 3, test 4, test 5, test 6, test 7, test 8, test 9, and then test 10. And then if you go to the, each of the records, you will see the ID is 12341. If you go to the next record, the ID is, if you go to the test 2 one, it will be 12342, and the name is test 2. Similarly, if you go to the test 10, you're going to see the ID is going to be 123410 at the end. Then what we have, let's, so these are the records that it has created. And then let's look at the existing record, which was Dipika, whose ID was 1234. And now it has also updated the description. So this is what the absurd operation has done. It has updated this particular record and it has also added all the 10 new customer records. If you go through each of these, you will see that it will have at the 6, the name of the customer is test 6. So this is about the absurd operation. In the next tutorial, we are going to go ahead and see the delete operation as well. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.